the major airlines created the regional industry as a way of lowering cost. They don't want to pay employees, and I don't care whether it's pilots, flight attendants, mechanics, ground help. They wanted to find a way of getting rid of experience. They wanted to find a way of getting rid of that expensive employee, and let's start this new industry and call it the regional industry. 80 hours a week and get paid for 20 of it, if we're lucky. Pilots are paid hourly, and starting pay for first officers is typically $21 an hour. My first year was, I made a little over 22000 gross. Mm -hmm. And then you put into the fact that you have, you know, mortgages and, and rent for a crash pad, student loan payments, car insurance and whatnot, you know, by the time it all got said and done, we are literally starving at the end of the day. To make ends meet, many pilots choose to commute, living in less expensive communities, far from the base they fly from. Commuting has always been a part of aviation. But if you're making sixteen or $18,000 a year and you're commuting, you're sleeping on the Barco lounger and the pilot's lounge. And that's not good, is it? Let's get the facts out on, on the table on this mile. The average salary for a regional airline captain is $73,000. The average salary for a first officer at a regional airline it's about $32,000, $33,000 a year. So I'm not talking about average. There are some people, as you well know, who make eighteen dollars to $20,000 a year. You know, we're not talking about average. We're talking about human beings who are flying my grandmother to Buffalo, right? Okay, so there are people there living this life. And it seems as if they're in an untenable position economically. Absolutely not, because there are many other people who, who, um, who learn, earn less money than that, who work more days in, in these communities that can afford it and do do it and do it responsibly. I just checked the, the web th this morning. You can get a hotel room at the Newark airport for $50 a night. I'm mistaken, now you see something. Now you see now. You done fucked up, you know that, don't you? I see what I'm saying. I, no, I, I thought... No, so, you know what I'm saying? That you done I, fucked up now, you know that, don't you? Yeah, I know you done fucked up, don't you? No, don't. <laughs> no, you done fucked up. $50 a night, if you're making $20,000 a year, mm -hmm. that adds up, doesn't it? Adds up very quickly. If you have a base salary, roughly $1,200 a month is what you take home. $50 a, $50 a night for a hotel is going to disappear relatively fast. And, of course, I don't know if you've ever tried to find a hotel at that rate near Newark, but... It's most likely not going to be in the uh, safest of neighborhoods. Low pay and high living costs have created an underground housing market in the airline industry. They're called crash pads. Some regional pilots let us inside their crash pads in a northeastern city if we agreed not to reveal their location. So there's a margin there of, of profit, but if you can hold down pilot costs, if you can hold down flight attendant costs, maintenance costs, those carriers make even more money. You hear that? If you work really hard for Shekel McGoystein at some large company that hates you, if you work for a company that promotes Me Too, if you work at a company that promotes BLM, if you work for a company that decks the halls with rainbow flags every June, you're gonna you're gonna be part of a community. It's something bigger than yourself. The only thing bigger than yourself working for one of these major corporations is the boomers' retirement check. It's their 401k. I I don't give a fuck about your 401k, bro. I don't give a fuck about your profit margins. Why would I give a fuck about a company's profits when at the drop of the hat, they can just fire me, blackball me, cancel me, what have you? Nah, nah. Go ask Enrique. Go ask Jesus. Open up the borders. Get your slaves from down south. I'm not interested. And those slaves from down south, 
They'll work hard. They'll scratch by a living and they'll have children in the USA. You know what those children are going to think? They're going to think the same thing American men think today. Why the fuck would I do this? Why the fuck would I do this? John Deloney would tell you your mental health goes up because your well, dignity, your autonomy, that's it. your ability to control your environment goes up. There is such a uh, mental illness tie-in no question, caused by not working. That's right. Uh, literally. The, the, so this idea that you have not put gravel in the stomach of your kids, they have no grit, means as a parent you suck. And so you mommies need to throw your 25-year-old out of his out of your basement yep. yesterday and uh, put him on the street and teach him to work. No, 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 man, Titty Ramsey. You don't want that. See, when young men are enticed by the comfort of pornography and video games, do you know what they're not? They're not violent. If every young man was thrown out on the streets tonight and told to mow work and mow bootstraps, there would be heads on pikes in the Capitol at the end of the week. Cindy! Stay Get away from her! Oh, oh, Lord! Rise and shine. Happy birthday, by the way. Very nice place you've got here. You really did cash in on everyone else getting foreclosed, didn't you? Today you're gonna make up for that. <laughs> we'll do exactly what we say or we will field dress her like a deer. Your kid too. You're coming with us. No matter what happens, you get yourself to Times Square. Tell Treadway Subject 4 is activated. The last thing you want is to make young men with nothing to lose, with no potential at owning land, with no potential at having families, struggle. You know what they're going to do? You know what these young men are going to do? Man, we need a place to sleep tonight. Hey, you see that mansion over there? I think a Boomer McBoomer Go Ramsey over here. Dave Ramsey. I think that's one of his three vacation homes. Nah, that's our vacation home. Let's fucking take it. This is the day we've been waiting for. Years of training. Years of sacrifice. This is for the jobs you streamlined. The debts you collected. This is for the homes you foreclosed on. The bailouts you took. We are the true patriots. It's time for a new balance of power. You may not answer to the government, but you will answer to us. Get him up. It's just like the, all these young men, these young men with no, no, no reason to lose and no families of their own. Let's put them in a position where they either have to be a slave or in, in, invoke violence. Boomer, what the? This is, this is typical boomer mentality. They can't comprehend people breaking the law. They can't comprehend not sending money to Israel. They can't comprehend a revolution. Boomers come out and play. 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 I'd never have a revolution. I got four vacation homes. 
I got three muscle cars. I got a 401k and social security. I would never go in a revolution. Why the? Why would a young man go in a revolution? It won't happen. We just gotta tell them my bootstraps. I'm tell. I'm telling you this for your own health and safety, Boomer. Do not put young men in that position. It's not gonna end well. 